Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Varun Sanat, Product Manager at Withings. Thank you for joining us, Varun. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And what you're a product manager for is the sleep tracking mat, which is called the Withings Sleep. Give us a little bit of an overview of what this product is. Sure. So um, the Withings Sleep uh, is simply a mat that you uh, put under the mattress. Uh, and uh, with a one-time setup, you're able to, to track easily your sleep. Basically, you just have to install it, then go to bed. At that moment, any Wi-Fi connection will be turned off so we don't disturb your sleep. And uh, when you get out of the bed, you get automatically a complete sleep report uh, about your last night. So uh, it includes a, a wide variety of metrics that we can talk about later. So it is a mat that goes under the mattress, is that right? How, how does it work under the mattress and be able to detect the things it detects? So, so that's the, the that's kind of the, the magic uh, that uh, uh, surrounds the product. So we've noticed that when you um, get a pressure sensor under the mattress, so basically we have an air chamber, it will get some uh, very useful information. So first of all, when you move in your bed, simply when you get into your bed or get out of the bed, uh, we can sense that, which um, can seem quite uh, trivial. But what gets interesting is the other signals that we're able to read. So um, each time you breathe uh, in and out, your thoracic cage expands and shrinks. And this will cause the mattress to slightly uh, be compressed and get its original form. And that little variation, we're able to sense it from under the mattress. And third signal, which is uh, for me the most incredible, uh, is the heart activity. So each time your, your heart beats, you have a mechanical wave that propels through your body and that gets yeah, through the mattress. And we can clearly see the heart activity from, from that place. So those three signals are what we use to, uh, to then um, compute some metrics. So uh, heart rate during the night, uh, sleep stages, um, and so on. And some of the advantages would be that uh, there, there are plenty of sleep trackers on the market, including some, uh, I think, from, from, from Withings that, that mm -hmm. are wrist-worn. What are the advantages to this? There are um, maybe two, two categories of advantages. The first one would be about the UX. So what we've tried to do with this product is to say that uh, – as for all weaving products, and that's in our DNA, uh, that uh, we need to remove all the frictions and burden in the user of products so that it gets into the lifestyle of the users and uh, not the opposite, So, which would be users that have to uh, work and learn how to, uh, to use a product. So this product is quite magical because you don't have to think about it, you just have to go to bed and... Uh, it tracks automatically your sleep and your data gets uh, uploaded to uh, the health med account uh, automatically. So I think, yeah, the, the, one of the first advantage is uh, the UX. Also, you, you keep it plugged so you don't have to think about the battery life. You can track it for a year long without having any uh, disruption because the fashion changes for what you wear on the wrist or because you, you, you've lost your, 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 uh, your watch. Second aspect is that we have very interesting metrics measured more than what you get from your wrist, sen your wrist uh, sensor. So we also are able to track snoring uh, on that sensor. We, we have a, an audio sensor that, of course, does not record any kind of voice, just only the, um, the sound variations. And we, c we cross it with uh, the breathing rate we measure uh, on the pressure sensor to determine the snoring. And, um, yeah, we're able to, to go further uh, in the metrics we can get from it. So we also get uh, breathing disturbances, which we announced last year, that is a potential indicator of sleep apnea, for example. So how can the math uh, distinguish between me and my wife? The, the math may be right under me, but isn't it detecting some of her movement and, uh, and perhaps mm. snoring? So for the snoring, we use the fact that when you snore, it's synchronized with your, with your breathing. And... Uh, if we measure a snoring that, that's not synchronized with the breathing we can see uh, on the pressure sensor, then we deduce it's not from you. From you. And uh, for the other metrics, uh, the intensity of the, the input signals will be less next to the sensor than for the, the person that is on the top of the sensor. 
Very interesting. So tell me about some of the technology that's that's inside here. What what can you tell us? Yeah, maybe let's talk about the heart rate. It's um, it's it's something that has been very very um, let's say democratized thanks to uh, uh, wrist trackers, including the Apple Watch and, the, and also our, our, our trackers at the wrist. It's a useful information to to have the, the heart rate continuously through the day. But here, when we get at sleep. As it's a home use product, we're able to uh, to make no compromise between the, the battery life and the number of uh, samples we take. So we have um, a very high sampling for getting the heart activity, which makes with our algorithm the, the, yeah the, the, the two strong the two strengths for yeah having a very accurate uh, heart rate tracking. So we compared it to an ECG belt, and uh, at the minute level we had. Uh, yeah, less than one uh, BPM uh, average error, and same for the whole night. So, yeah, I, I think accuracy is something uh, that is very interesting on, on this product. And how are you able to achieve that? Because obviously, the, on our wrist, we see you know very often for the heart rate monitors the little green lights. <laughs> obviously, that's not the case here. That, that's a principle called uh, ballistocardiography, which is a uh, how I told you earlier, uh, the fact that the mechanical wave propels through the body and through the mattress. Um, we just have uh, an airtight sleep cham- um, air chamber that would be catching those mechanical waves. And those pressure variations will be sensed by, by a pressure sensor that is um, designed in the sleep sensor. And uh, this will get the pressure variations. Then we're able to say, hey, so... Uh, the heart rate uh, oscillates uh, between uh, this and this frequency, so we kind of filter uh, out uh, the noise, and uh, then we're able to sense each time there's a heartbeat. Step us through the setup here, because that's a that's a really a key thing to getting people to to use a device yeah. like this. Uh, you really yeah. make it easy using your app. Tell me about it. Yeah. So. Um, as you, uh, as you just told, we, we want to make uh, it as easy as possible. Uh, so uh, we forget about it. So after a one-time setup, you just have to sleep. But for, for the setup itself, just plug your product. Um, then you um, you have to look for it with our Health Me app. And while you just install it, and we, we just guide you through um, the information that we'll, you will get uh, the day after uh, with your app, uh, the sensor, first of all, gets the, the last firmware update, so you're up to date with the latest feature, features, and uh, we also calibrate the product. So when you put it under the mattress, we have uh, a whole variety of mattresses. It can be foam mattress, spring um, spring mattress, latex, uh, and so on. And you also have different types of uh, bed box, so slider frame or, or, uh, or full contact. And for each kind of, uh, of mattress, we need to be calibrated so the winning sleep will inflate uh, until it reaches the the proper pressure inside the air chamber so it can fit to your mattress uh, especially and this process will happen every day actually very interesting and we should point out it does need to be plugged in it's got a usb uh, cable attached to it that that plugs into uh, an outlet yeah maybe in a couple of years we'll be able to get rid of electricity but we're not that advanced yet <laughs> very interesting tell us about the pricing and availability sure so um we have a pricing of 99 uh us dollars for this product and it's already available actually and um as for other withings product uh, we keep it on our shelves because we we keep improving it so for example um this month we are um launching a new view for the sleep heart rate uh, where more than just giving you a sleep heart rate, we're giving you tips to uh, how it's influenced, uh, how you can influence it, whether you are in a normal zone or an optimal zone, and so on. And it doesn't matter whether you sleep on your back or on your belly or whatever. It, it can do the job. No, yeah, yeah, of course. For heart rate, we can we can sense it so, uh, regardless of the position. Terrific. Uh, for more information, the best place to go would be where? Uh, it will be on our Withings website, so withings.com uh, slash sleep. And W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S is how it's spelled. Varun Sanat, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you very much. Cooking with the power of the song. Hi, I'm Fred Fishkin, here to tell you about the latest innovation from my friend Patrick Sherwin and his great team at Gosun Stove. 
The GoSun Fusion has arrived using the company's tried and true reflectors and a solar vacuum tube to get you cooking without the mess of charcoal, heavy propane tanks, or smoke. A really bright idea. And with an optional solar panel and battery storage and the ability to plug in at home or on the road, you really can use the GoSun Fusion to cook anytime and anywhere, day or night, rain or shine. I love what Patrick and his team are doing, and so will you. Want to learn more? Head to GoSun.co to check out all of the company's products and innovations, and use the code TEXTANATION to save 10%. That's GoSun.co.